Hi, Kirsty here from Starfish. This one's a really quick video on how we teach children the sounds of the alphabet in our tutoring centre, mainly because we always get asked. Um, what we find is that parents bring their children to us because they're having difficulty learning to read. Then we ask the parents one of the first questions, uh, does your child know the alphabet? and the sounds that they make. And parents almost always say yes, especially if they're in like year one or year two. Um, and the parents are a bit surprised when they find, after we've checked, that they may know all the, the names of the letters, but often they do not know all of the common sounds or the sounds that they commonly make. So that's our starting point, usually. Sometimes it's a step before that with phonological awareness, but that's another Anyway, um, this is what we use in our tutoring centre. You don't have to use the um, Ants and the Apple program. We use the Ants and the Apple cards. There are other similar programs that you can use, like Johnny Phonics, and, and there's loads of others. This is what we use because it's easy and it works. Um, anyway, we put, we hole punch, so you buy the, the cards, I'll bring them up so you can have a little look. Um, these are the Ants and the Apple cards. You can buy them in a pack, obviously of 26, they're not expensive. We put a hole punch in them and then we buy one of these little hinged rings and we start out putting on, once we've checked which sounds the ch child knows, we put those ones onto their sound ring so they know those ones and then we gradually add sounds um, that we're teaching them that they then master and with lots of repeated practice, nearly every day, but it only takes less than a minute, so it's not very painful. Um, and kids actually like it, and it works. Um, it works for a few reasons, and I'll go into that in a minute. And on our, I'll write a blog, and I'll put some clips of me working with children, using these so you can see it in action. So this is just me explaining it. So it's only a very quick uh, video. But as I said, much more detail on the actual blog post. So we put them in random order, so not alphabetical order, and the children need to say the whole thing. So when we start out, I might say the, I might say it because they don't know it yet. Uh, itchy insect, it it it, and they have to say it it it. Then I'll flip the card. Um, hens with hats on. Fat frog fishing. Dolphins diving. Possums peeping, p -p -p -p. you get the idea. I know them all off by heart because I do them all day, every day. Eventually what we want, or the next step is, I'd say itchy insect, and they'd say it, it, it. Hens with hats on, p -p -p -p. fat frog fishing, they'd say f -f -f. And eventually the next step would be, they say the whole thing, itchy insect, it, it, it. Hens with hats on, p -p 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 -p. fat frog fishing, etc, etc. The final step is when we flip so they know all, they've gone through all of the 26 letters or sounds with the picture prompt. Once they know all of those and they're really good at it, then you flip it over and we do this side without the picture prompt. So when I start this, I would probably tell them that Jelly bean jumping, and they have to say j j j. Quick queens quarrelling, quick quick quick. Rabbit reading, er er er. Zippy zebra, zzz. Umbrella up, up up up, etc. And the last step would be when they just say either jelly bean jumping, j j j, or they just go quick, er, zzz, up, yeah. And if they get stuck on one, you might almost see the cogs turning, or you might, they might actually verbalise it. They might say, go in and gossiping, g, 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 because that little ditty or rhyme um, is catchy, and it's the way that they recall it. All the information's in there. It's um, the, the pictures and that little ditty give them a way to retrieve it, a way to find it. So this actually helps children with um, memory problems. Uh, with working memory problems and we believe that one of the reasons it works is also because when they're doing a sound, let's do a different one, uh, 
worms out walking, wah, wah, wah. the repeating of it helps as well, as does the beat. There's loads of readings coming out about this at the moment, the benefits of rhythm, but also the benefits of um, repeat teaching, um, saying things over and over to assist with working memory. Um, so stay tuned. All right, I hope that helps. So pick yourself up a pack of the ants and the apple um, alphabet cards, hole punch them, put them on a hinged ring, and Bob's your uncle. You, as I said, you don't have to use the ants and the apple cards. They're what we use at the moment, and they work. Alrighty.